Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pometer. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't done it yet, go on down and hit subscribe for us. We love it when you come back over and over again. Check out amazing authors, artists, filmmakers, musicians, creators of all kinds here on the Hanging With Web Show. We are here at the Space Coast Book Lovers event in Cocoa Beach, Florida, hosted by Terry e Dees Edney. And uh, we're hanging with good friend and, and former Hanging With author, Julie Morgan. Julie, thanks hey, for hanging with us again. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the Space Coast. Thank you. Yeah, how's it going? It's good so far. It's been yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, you got. I know you got in yesterday. Yes. Hanging out with the other authors. Yes. Which is always a party. It it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that on YouTube. You have to go on Facebook and find <laughs> out if you can. You know. So. Oh, the last time we saw you was a year uh, it ago. Was a little bit yeah. over a year ago. Over a year ago. Jacksonville. What have you been doing? I mean, we know because we stalk you on Facebook, but they don't. Some of them do. <laughs> that I wouldn't call it stalking. That, that, it's that, that friendly does. banter. Yes. That <laughs> well, one, I've um, written a couple of more books, and some of them have gone into box sets. Nice. And I had a box set recently hit USA Today bestseller. Awesome. So it was my first time. That's awesome. Yes, I was so excited. And uh, I have a book coming out uh, probably looking at mid-June. The third book to my alchemy series, which is steampunk, and so I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to close out that chapter of that series. And here at the event, I have a story called The Power Here that's only available here in paperback. Wow. And it's, on, it's online right now in a box set, so it can't be bought by itself right now, mm -hmm. except here. Very cool. Yeah, so. Very cool. Um, that's busy. Yeah, That's and busy. I have a lot more coming. Oh I have my like, gosh, I, I, my, so much more. I said, I, I, I have, I just, I'm gonna, because of the show and everything, I've done one book a year, one book a year, one book a year, and we're already going for June, and I think I'm two chapters into my first draft, and I'm like, oh, I think I better start writing one of these days. But, it's a, you're just busy, 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 busy. Yes. yes. I'm plotting out a new series right now, and um, I, I think, I know what she wants to talk about. <laughs> huh. She sidetracked me a little bit. Yeah, so. a little bit. A little, they do that. <laughs> so I have a new series in play that's coming, and I'm working with a developmental editor on building it out. Awesome. Completely world building right now. And we have, we're have we starting to plot, but it's a, a new adult paranormal, a little bit of romance involved, but more of a vampire and vampire hunter series. Oh, wow. That's it's going to be uh, a little different, completely action-packed. Cool. And um, yeah, so I'm very excited to see where this underworld goes. action going. Yeah, kind yeah. of, kind of. So now with the new threat paranormal, are you? Because you said you're world building right now. Yes. Are you using um, sort of classic vampire vampire hunter tropes, or are mm, you kind of creating some no, new stuff? Creating some brand new stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, brand new stuff. That's fun. It's uh, demons, vampires, hunters. There's um, some trickery involved with the hunters. And I don't want to say magic. It's not necessarily magic, but it's abilities, you know, that these hunters you have. have. Vampires. It's, it's this is kind of there's already a <laughs> little, a little bit of magic. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. you don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, you're starting a new world building. You uh, have your rump, the, the the books we talked about last year, Delta Force and the military series. Yes. Your paranormal paranormal steampunk series. Yes. Uh, most memorable or standout thing that you've run across while researching one of your books? Just something that popped out and you're like, wow, I didn't know that, that's kind of cool. It's a cool factoid. Um, actually, something like that just happened recently. I had believed for the longest time a particular thing about um, wolf packs. Oh, okay. With shifters. Yeah. That there's an alpha and the alpha rules everything. The alpha is the alpha, bam, that's it. Uh, according to some studies done by researchers, that's not necessarily the case. If I'm There's not mistaken, animal researchers say that most alphas are pretty lazy. Right. You win the fight and then you go sit on the hill. Basically. And at any given time, someone else could come up and take over as alpha 
if the alpha's mate maybe is due to have a child. You know, so it's not necessarily, I'm alpha, you must kill me to take over. You know, it's not necessarily, that's not the case. Kind of step it's, aside. Or, yeah, or, yeah. Know, so, yeah. and there can possibly maybe be more than one. And I had the hardest time accepting that. <laughs> whole notion of alpha, sort yeah, of. Yeah, because a lot of us, for the longest time, have always written alphas in the sense of, I'm the alpha. This is my pack. Uh, yeah. You know, and I, uh, yeah. it's just, it's, that threw me through a loop, you know, seeing that and reading it, that. It is. And I know, like I said, a lot of animal researchers say that you know, the alpha kind of, you know, you win the fight, you go sit yeah. on the hill, and then you're sort of king. But the nice thing about winning the fight is you don't have to do anything. Yeah. To, to, you know, so they don't actually have to come by and nod to you. You just, they live their lives. And oftentimes the beta or another alpha from, you know, will a, a type. Right. Will, you know, push the pack out. Sure. And the animal themselves, the alpha just gets to sit there and go, yep, well, nobody's going to mess with me anyway. It's sort of a it's sort of a get out of get out of a fight free card. Right, right. So now you don't have to fight anymore. You just go sit over there in the corner of the bar and let Cry somebody else do your, your fighting. Throne chair, That's yeah. right. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I could picture uh, what was it? Um, uh, True Blood. Uh, Eric, Eric Northman. Eric yes. Northman <laughs> sitting in his yeah little That's throne. That's my in the throne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get away from okay, my feet. well, <laughs> in a year uh, the show's grown a little bit. You can see we've done some really cool stuff. Yes. But um, I, we've added a segment because we had so much fun talking to our writers. We call the segment clickbait. 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 Okay. So on the internet, <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> See, it's fun, isn't it? Uh, so on the internet, clickbait are those headlines that you can't look away from. Oh yes. They're almost never what they say they are, but yeah. you can't not. You have to click because it's like you know, big scandal here, and this is happening there. So we put our own spin on that. Just like last year, they went out and found totally foolish, ridiculous questions, and then what we're looking for is your real life answer is going to give us like the million view headline. Oh, gosh. Julie Morgan said this. There's a lot of things Julie Morgan have said. I could just go to her Facebook page and grab a whole bunch of you stuff. You really we could. could. All right, so, oh, okay, we'll just do it, keep it simple. Thank Favorite you. <laughs> 80s or 90s jam. Comes on the radio, you can't help it. Sir Mix-a-Lot. Sir Mix-a-Lot. Baby Got Back. Baby Got Back. Gotta turn that up. <laughs> Okay, didn't see that coming, <laughs> did you? Uh, it, it, this is she's a paranormal writer. Well, I guess we could ask her her favorite. It, you could do magic. What would you want to be able to do? What power would you have? I think we asked be her superpower last year. Be able to change year. how I look, like to become somebody else. Just like who? Not like the whole Merlin thing. That was a little creepy stalker. It is that kinda. we talked about earlier yeah, yeah. behind the scenes here. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, we, Julie and I were talking about the new. King, King Arthur, Arthur movie, movie yeah. uh, which is, by all reports, amazing. I you thought been. it was fantastic. Yeah, uh, and we were comparing it to former Arthur's Excalibur mm -hmm. and King Arthur, um, and so, um, but yeah, to be able to change your appearance, right? It's and it's kind of it a, just uh, a way to. What would you do with said power? This opens up a whole new can of worms here. Yes. You, you realize that, yes, right? Yes, yes, So this kind of goes in play with the series that I'm plotting out. Uh-huh. Oh. And if you had the ability to mind read, imagine being a spy and going overseas and being able to hear the secrets that you're not supposed to hear. And, like, not even have to do a whole lot of work to do no, it. No, you just, just sit like there. Just, like, sit in the bar and wait yeah. for people to walk by, and you know everything. And you hear everything. It's like Sookie. There are, yeah. Yes. <laughs> See, and some, there are some things you don't want to hear. No, there's not. There are a lot there's of things. There's not. It, it, I've been to some of those European bars. There are a lot of things you yeah. really don't want to hear. Yeah. Unless you're writing a really steamy romance novel, because then you've got all the research <laughs> you need. Um, okay, so where are you going from here, besides back to the keyboard? Where's your next appearance? Where can people find you oh, up the road? Oh, okay. I'm thinking, well, my next thing is a, is a, a game day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was being literal. Um, the next one. Um, this is a fantastic author event. One of the great things about it is there's so much for the authors to yeah, do. Yeah, there is. But you have the signing, and you get to meet the readers and the fans, and that's great. But there's also so much going on for the authors, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. So, Terry, thank you. What a great job. So, yes, thank you, Terry. July, I'm headed up to Canada. Canada? My first Canadian trip ever. I'm going up to CalypsoCon. So if you're familiar with Calypso, Calypso Masters, she's putting up her own awesome her event, and she's asked me to come be one of her attending authors. Oh, that's going to be I great. I think there's 11 or 12 of us. It's, it's pretty small, but there's a lot of readers coming. 
That's so great. it'll be a lot of fun. I'm that really will looking be forward to and it. Your first Canadian trip. Yes. Wow, that's fantastic. We have uh, one of Cosplay Michael's adult cosplay friends okay. uh, has started touring just in the last year and a half and is going to do his first overseas tour next oh, year. Wow. Uh, he starts, and he's done Canada this year a little bit, you know, bits and pieces, but now he's headed to um, uh, China oh and uh, uh, Paraguay or something. It was. Everywhere, everywhere that you know, you kind of think, "Oh, that'd be cool to go there." I went to Venice and Paris back in October. Awesome! And it was amazing. Was it was oh god, it was amazing. It completely plot bunnied a whole new book, which I ended up co-writing with a woman named Kate Reynolds. Awesome. And the story's coming out uh, June twentieth in a box set. And this is what a writer with. does. A writer goes on vacation, sees the sights, has a few cocktails, and goes, "Oh, this is a book." Oh, it totally was. You can't, you can't help it. I got to talking to some of the locals about Casanova. Tell me stories about Casanova. I'm very curious. And what I thought I knew is completely not what I thought I knew. And so they started wow. telling me the stories that they know as Venetians that they know. So that, and so we ended up writing a story that was Casanova and Dracula meshed together, another par paranormal, set in Venetian 1750. Nice. Wow. And That's it's going to be a three-book series. And... And this summer, we're going to go through and do re some rewrite of a couple of scenes. But after that, we're going to publish it on our own. So pull it out of the box set. And very, have its very own nice. Called Blood uh, Fortune. That's the shut up card. That's the one that says we, we've been chatting too much. Oh, I sorry. Hate they do that. We, we end up getting talking, and it's just they it's always not fun, give us They Sage. always give us that card. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the Internet's enjoying it. We're enjoying it. What's wrong with you? Okay. As we wrap it up, we're going to thank our friends again. Florida Book News, Something Unique Magazines, Word Fire Press, Space Coast Comics, Famous Faces and Funnies. As you know, these are the folks that share our videos on the World Wide Web, help to share our artists, authors, and creators with everybody out there. Uh, and we're so grateful. They're awesome. Yes. And we're so grateful to Terry, D, Edney, and the gang for having us here at the Space Coast Book Lovers event in Cocoa Beach. I'm G.W. Pomacher. We've been hanging with author and writer Julie Morgan, who is cranking out copy. Get to a bookstore. If you can't find Julie's names, you're not looking hard enough. There's like a whole... <laughs> Julie Morgan section. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Go online, type Julie Morgan, you'll find it. And while you're there, remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next. <laughs>